Hi, I'm Lori from Paragon, and I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to blend pattern lines. So we're going to show you today um, how to do it on a small dog and how to do it on a large dog. So if you have set your pattern line with your clipper and you have made the motion of you know, feathering in that pattern line, you've done some blending with your clipper, but you'll always see the line. So what you need to do is take your thinning shears. And what you're going to do right at this pattern line is you're going to, just with the tips of your shears, snip and skip a, a section. Snip. It's okay. Snip and skip. So you're just taking out a little bit. You'll take your comb back and you'll start to see this pattern line start to blend in with the body. You'll know exactly where you have to come back back through and you'll see how nice that starts to blend in. Okay, now that I've got my clipper work done, I'm going to go ahead and blend this pattern. Again, you're going to take the tip of your shears and you're going to snip and skip on that pattern line. Once you get a section done, go ahead and comb it and you'll start to see that pattern line start to disappear and blend in. Even as harsh as this line is, if I just take my shears, snipping and skipping. Make sure you're combing in between so you can see what you have left, but you'll start to see that line disappear. Even on the rib area, the line here, and skip. And that's how you're going to get that blended line from a seven to the long hair.